Duty Black Ops Cold War and this is the brand new map that dropped today on the 4th of February 2021 a fan favourite as they always say from <laughs> Black Ops 2 this is Express um, so I thought we'd have a wander around and just kind of check it out look at the flag positions in um, in uh, in Domination and there are some active elements to this map which is trains come whizzing along here well, they, actually, well, they used to. Hmm. Not sure if they will do now. Hmm. Be interesting to see anyway. So here we go. We, the, as you can see from the map, it is... It, it's kind of a variation on the kind of three-lane idea where we've got kind of this back lane here and then we've got this lane here and then the other lane goes up all the way into the atrium. Um, so let's just take a basic wander through. So obviously we've got the A flag, and we can cut through the overpass that way if we wanted to. Um, B is ooh, this is an open B flag, isn't it? Wow, there is not much cover here. There's a tiny little bit of cover there. Yeah, that's about the only place, isn't it? Right on the corner, or right on the corner there. So you're gonna going to have to be very careful, you know, throwing down smoke or trophy systems and all that sort of stuff to say, stay safe. Right, let's have a good place to defend B from in here, though. Let's go and have a look at the C flag. They're so smooth, these maps now. They've done a lot of work on Black Ops since launch. Right, so C flag, again, pretty open. But I'd imagine you'd probably be tucking yourself maybe maybe even down here like this okay so let's take a wander up to this really long flanking route to the on the north of well I guess it's the north of the map is it yeah the north here we go looks amazing doesn't it <laughs> looks really really good can't get down there so we can go all the way around here. It's not actually that big, this map. That then cuts us to the back of the A flag there. Or, let's go down one of these middle routes here to get to the B flag. So we can come down here to get to the B flag. We can fight our way through the train. Um, hard points can be interesting on this map. So we've got this overpass we can use here we've got good view of the A flag this takes us down to alright ok so we're on the back of the B flag then presumably there's a symmetrical one here, yeah there is as well it's all, it's all coming back to me now which takes us on this overpass which gives us oversight on the C flag see anybody coming up there Anybody coming up there? And then we can come down this back way along the uh, other side of the platform. We should be able to climb up on these. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I wonder if there's some uh, phones ringing. It's rather strange that they're putting these Black Ops um, 2 maps into the multiplayer, when in fact we know that uh, um, Black Ops Cold War is set after um, Black Ops 1, but well before Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is kind of set in the future, isn't it? But you've got the 80s themes. I guess... Yeah, I guess these bullet trains... Oh, right. oh, that's interesting. You can get up that way. I guess these bullet trains are... Um, they could be in Japan, couldn't they? And uh, France. And also in the 80s we had the... Um, I don't think we actually got around to finishing it. But there was the, the high-speed um, trains that they were developing in the UK. Right, so we can come all the way down here. That's interesting. That's, that's quite a cool route, isn't it, that we could take. Two days on the moon. Oomph soda. 
Father's dad. <laughs> right, can we get up on here? We can. I'm not sure whether you could get up on these places in the original Black Ops 2 map. What a fantastic looking map. So anyway, there we go. That has been a quick look around the new Express map, which dropped today for free on Black Ops Cold War. Um, check it out. I'll be fighting many a battle on this on uh, on Domination. Hardpoint, yeah, Hardpoint should be pretty cool because there's lots of different places. I've kind of fallen out of love a little bit with Hardpoint since they've added the kind of advanced warning of where the next Hardpoint is going to be. Kind of spoils it for me now because... You used to have a massive advantage if you knew where the next hard point was was going to be and you could get there first. But now everybody else knows where it's going to be with 10 seconds to go, which is a, which is a bit of a bummer. But also saying that I've really enjoyed playing um, Domination on uh, on Black Ops Cold War. And I think the fact that I've managed to maintain a positive KD ratio on Domination... Oh, you can take A from up here. Oh, so you could probably do the same with B down there, uh, uh, C down there as well, can you? Um, so you could... You can go prone here, can't you? Ah, there you go. That's a good tip. Um, and that's with playing the objective as well. You know, always going after the B flag and re really trying to win the game shows you that uh, it does it, it does have a fantastic gameplay, Black Ops Cold War. They just need more content. And with map drops like this, although it's not strictly new content, it's remastered, remade from uh, Black Ops 2. Um, it's very, very welcome indeed. So, anyway, there we go. A quick look around Express. Check it out for yourselves. Put your questions and comments in the dish, uh, below the video and I will see you again soon.